this tutorial on Python. Today we're going to be looking at pandas and we're going to be creating a data table using numbers and words. So the first thing we're going to do is import the pandas table. So if we skip over to the screen now, the main part of the screen, we're going to import pandas as pd for short to make it easy for us. As you can see here, I've got the code down here, but I thought I'd write it alongside you, just so you know step by step what's going on. So now we've got that toolkit imported. It's got that triangle here because it's imported but not used, not yet, anyway. Next, we're going to create our data table. So we're going to our data sets. So first name. These are just made up, so let's just actually do this because, you know, like that. So we've got five first names and we've got exactly the same thing but with surnames. So we've got first names and surnames made up, all made up. Although, you know, there probably is a John Smith, Henry Boggs, Jane Jr. and Sarah Duff and Fred Savage out there. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we are going to put them together. Now, this is one way of doing it. There are many ways of doing it, um, but this is just one of them. So we're going to list them, put, put them together, and then list them. So actually, let's, let's uh, do a step-by-step. -step. Let's put them together using the zip function. Zip first name surname and then we want to list them as well so they'll come out um, in a list order and then we're going to put that equal to a function and then let's see what we get here let's print it and let's see what we get so we get the output here on the right is like that so they've been zipped together and listed together. So looking good. But notice that pandas is still not being used. But don't worry, that will happen next. PD dot, here we go, this is where we use panda, PD names dot, PD and data frame. Now this is what creates the table, it's a data frame function. And then our data is going to be equal to x, and our columns are going to be the names of the lists. So we're going to columns equals first name and surname. So these will be the titles of our columns. So Let's get rid of that print check to see if all goes well, and let's do another print for see what's output. Ah, see we get a problem here, and what is that problem? That is because we have yes, we have input an extra pair of brackets here, we don't need them, and we've got a space here. It's all going wrong. Ah, we haven't got equals. There we go. So here we have equals. So be careful when you get errors, just step through it and debug it. Um, but this should be the output you get here. So this is first name, surname. So these are just words at the moment. Next, I'm going to add another data table with numbers. So I'm going to add them next and we're going to simply put ages. Let's just add age. So you just put age equals open brackets, close brackets will follow and then 26, 25, whatever number you want. Well, whatever number is appropriate. I've just chosen any random numbers. And then 
the next bit is where we add the ages. So let us do exactly the same thing here. Very simply, let's just do a copy and paste. And data is uh, yeah. So then we just copy and paste data is age. And we can call this ages. And then this is simply going to be age. Let's get rid of that print. And let's print ages. There we go. You see, we've got two data tables now. So if we put them both together, we have two separate data tables. And now we're going to join them together. <clears throat> so let us, so this really should be a tutorial in joining data tables. But we're also using numbers and letters. So you're getting real good video here on pandas. How to use pandas and data tables along with an error. So we're, what we're going to do simply is put names.join. This is really simple ages. And we're going to call that, what did I call it down here? Total, don't really like that. I'm going to call it um, complete. Or if we've got user details. Yeah, let's keep this sort of hacky. I suppose. Print user details, and then let's get oh, capital P. I'm going to put lowercase p. Let's get rid of these prints here. And here we have it. We have our. Uh, these are all just four sets of the same table. I'll just print it four times using repeating the function. And now we have, so John Smith, 26, Henry Bloggs, 25, James Jr., 32, and so on, ending in Fred Savage, Sarah Duff. And there we have it. That is uh, our completed data table with integer and a number. So what we've done is we've used Panda to create two data tables, and then we two separate, and we've joined the two data tables together to one complete data table. I hope you've enjoyed that tutorial. Check out more of my tutorials on Analyst Rising and uh, check out my, my other Python videos and subscribe if you like it. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you later.